welcome back to California Cooking. Today, we're getting you ready for one of my favorite holidays, Halloween. First, I'm making an ooey gooey grilled cheese with a spooky soup. Then, I'm getting in the kitchen with some of Levi's friends and we're gonna make some festive treats. And finally, Halloween is one of the biggest weeks of the year at the Magic Castle. So I get to take a haunted tour, experience a little magic, and taste some of the new fall dishes on their menu. First up, I'm making a spectacular meal to fill you up before you go trick-or-treating. It's my ooey gooey grilled cheese with spooky butternut squash carrot soup. Take a look. Halloween is my favorite holiday of the year. Christmas is a very close second, but I love Halloween. And I think it started as a kid. My mom made Halloween so special. So now I want to do the same for my kid. And I always thought it was fun when my mom would make a meal before we go trick or treating. And usually it was something very fallish and cozy. So I thought I would make something that is inspired by Halloween because it's orange and black and I'm gonna make an orange soup and it's butternut squash and carrot that I roasted in the oven until it's soft and I bought the butternut squash that's already chopped up so you don't have to deal with it because it's a little tricky to chop up butternut squash. Some carrots, roast them in the oven with some olive oil, salt and pepper until they're soft, about 40 minutes. And when they come out of the oven, they're still hot, I give it a good sprinkle of curry powder just to give it this kind of warmth when the soup is all blended together with some chicken stock. Then I'm gonna do a grilled cheese and I got some pumpernickel bread with raisin to give the orange and black. And I'm gonna show you something fun I'm gonna do with the soup when we're done. So here's my blender, my Vitamix that, whatever blender you have, but this thing blends up anything. So I'm just gonna take our veggies and put them into our blender. And I smell that curry powder. Try a little curry, see how you like it. I probably did about a teaspoon and especially if you're serving it to kids, it might not be a flavor they're used to, so try it. Now, we're gonna add our chicken stock, box chicken stock, and first test it, see how thick you want it. Here we go, on. All right, let's taste our soup. See where we're at with texture and seasoning. I'm gonna keep it right there. So what I've done is I've got a big pot on the back of the stove, just keep it warm. I'm gonna pour it in there and just keep it on a low simmer until we're ready for dinner. Now onto our grilled cheese. For Halloween, I thought it'd be fun to do a dark bread, a pumpernickel. This one happens to have a little bit of raisin in there, which I think is gonna taste pretty good. And what I like to do, not always with my grilled cheese, but sometimes when you have cream cheese in the fridge, it helps make an extra ooey gooey grilled cheese sandwich because the cheese melts into the creaminess of the cream cheese and then you've got a lot of goo and that makes for a good grilled cheese. Now because it's Halloween, you wanna do the orange cheese, the orange cheddar, but I also happen to have a little bit of smoked Gouda just to, you know, make it a little fancy. There you go. All right, I'm gonna take it back to the pan and melt our cheese. Gonna get some butter into my pan. Get our grilled cheese in. And then we just cook it over medium because we want the cheese to get nice and gooey. Our grilled cheese. I'm gonna do the slide. Okay. That looks perfect. And we just took the time to make sure the cheese melted. Gotta be patient. Okay, here's how I would plate all this up. We have our cozy carrot and butternut squash soup that has a little bit of uh, curry powder in there, just salt, pepper, olive oil, really simple. We roasted the veggies, added chicken stock, Okay, here's what I'm gonna do with the soup, and I'm scared, I'm nervous, but I'm gonna try to do a spider web with sour cream, added a little bit of half and half or milk to make it slightly thinner so it can squeeze out of this little squeeze bottle. Okay, here it goes. All right, now, got your skewer. I'm 
pretty happy with my spider web. And then on top, I got some black sesame seeds, just for fun, sprinkle those on top. And our ooey gooey grilled cheese. Hear the crunch? And there is your Halloween dinner. What a delicious comfort meal, perfect for the kids and the adults. Coming up, the Magic Castle undergoes quite the transformation getting ready for Halloween, so I'm getting a tour and finding out about all the festivities they have planned. But first, Levi and I are hosting a Halloween party with some of his classmates. We're making the cutest, ghoulish treats that you should try this October 31st. That's coming up next. It's one of my favorite holidays, and my son is just like me. Halloween is his absolute favorite. So I decided to invite over some of his classmates for an afternoon of fun, friends, and lots of sugar. Take a look. Take a treat! Take a treat! Are we excited for Halloween? Yes. Levi. What? We're gonna make a treat. Are you guys ready? Yes. yes. Do we love sweets at Halloween? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna make. These are graham crackers. You guys love graham crackers? I don't want graham crackers. <laughs> I want graham crackers. Good, I Ari. Graham I'm glad. Graham crackers. Lucy and Ava want graham, graham crackers. We're gonna top it with white chocolate and then we're gonna decorate it with all this fun stuff. Does that sound good? Yeah, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get some white chocolate, it's gonna be hot, and I'm gonna pour it on this so we don't touch, and then we top it with all sorts of stuff. Sound good? Yeah. Yeah? Chocolate. Are we ready to go? Okay, let me pour the chocolate, you guys, and then you can have fun and decorate. You ready? I don't want to. Okay. I just eat it. Okay, look out, it's hot, it's hot. Whoa, whoa, and let me come over here. Whoa, it's white chocolate, which I hope we have enough of. Oh, but if not, we could use orange. It looks like. What does it look like? It looks it look like concrete. So we're gonna smooth it out. Whoa, and then when I smooth it out, you guys, we're gonna decorate it with all kinds of Sprinkle. You're messing it the comp. I'm totally messing it up. Hey, what are you do with ours? And you know what I'm gonna do to you guys? I'm gonna add some orange it's too. Really hot. This is a little hot. These are orange melting chocolates. Look what I'm gonna do. We just need to cover all. Yeah, go ahead, Levi. Do it. I wanna do, do you guys want to add some? Yeah. Do it. I wanna do it. Add some chocolate. Let's make a mess. I wanna Your moms will be glad I said make a mess here instead of at home. Okay, look. Wow, you guys are gonna do an orange finger. one. It went on my finger. Did it, Ari? Okay, as soon as we decorate it and stick it in the fridge, we can eat it. All right, more. Oh wait, is Levi licking the spoon, you guys? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Does he do this silly stuff when he's in class with you guys? Yeah. No. 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 Okay, you guys start decorating. Look, I've got eyeballs, we've got sprinkles. Ah. Whoa, Ari did the full dump. All right. Yes. All right, Levi's go. eating the sprinkles. Okay. It's a mess, but you get my drift. Look at Levi. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're gonna have a bellyache before we even get to the party. Okay, everyone spread it out. Spread it out. Now we're gonna put them in the fridge and we're gonna let them get hard and then we're gonna break it up and you can eat it. Okay, who wants to make a spooky Dracula mouse cookie? Me! Yay! Me. Who likes sugar cookies? Me! Okay, we're doing good so far. So, let me show you guys how to do these scary mouse. So you take a sugar cookie and you cut it in half, okay? We do our red icing, look at that. Woo! Can you guys handle this? I want to do it. Yeah. So watch, let me show you what we do. So then we, these are like teeth. 
He's our little teeth. Yeah, you want to have a tooth? <laughs> it's not a real tooth. Of course, to Levi. Of course, Levi will eat it. Can I eat it now? Yes, as soon as I show you guys. Okay, now watch. Does it look like a mouth? Yeah. Does it? Yeah. Okay. And you put a little drop here, like a little blood. This is kind of a spooky one. You put a little tooth, like a is it, is Look, it's like a fang! Here we go. Everybody take their cookies, and I'll give you each a half, and you try to do what I just did, if you can. If not, then just have fun. Are we going to eat it after we do the icing? Yeah, you can eat it. Is, is, is it real blood? No, it's just pretend. What's the scariest thing at Halloween? Skeleton! Vampire! Zombies! I did it! Oh, it's falling! You did good! Ari! Ari, nice job! Do you want to take a bite? Okay, ready? Look at mine! Look at mine! Look at mine! Mm. Does it taste good? Look at mine! Good job, look honey. Mine. Look at mine. Well, at least Levi's not eating all the, all the frosting. You guys are such good helpers. Look at this one. It's perfect. Let me show. Look. Now we're going to go into the room where the party, we have all these balloons and fun stuff. You want to go see? Honestly, this guy licking all the icing out of that is kind of crazy. Do you want a hug? No. Cookie. Yes. Okay, yes. Hug. Cookie. <laughs> Dessert time! Dessert time! Look at the Halloween bark you all made. It is the prettiest dessert I've ever seen. You made this! Will you take one, Dean? You want one? Pick I want one. I want one. You guys made this. There you go. Here you go. Look at all those sprinkles. Pick a good one. Look at how pretty these are with all those sprinkles you put on there. Did you get a piece that you decorated? You got all the eyeballs. What do we love about Halloween? My favorite part is everything. Is everything? Is this a fun Halloween party? Yes, everybody. Should we do it again next year? Yes, everybody. Yes, everybody. Yes, everybody. Yes, everybody. At the same time, everybody make their scariest Halloween noise. Gosh, that was so much fun, except for when Levi ate a whole bowl of sprinkles. And thank you to Wild Child Party for making it so magical. And speaking of magic, the Magic Castle in Hollywood has been around for over 50 years. It's a private club, and Halloween is their favorite time of year. I'm gonna take you inside on a private tour. That's coming up next. Castle is one of those places I've always been intrigued by. Every time I drive by, I wonder what's going on in there. So I thought Halloween would be the perfect time to check it out. Open Sesame. Welcome to the Academy of Magical Arts and the world famous Magic Castle. Vicki, hi! Come inside. Awesome, oh my gosh. So this is the Magic Castle. This is the Magic Castle. It was a mansion uh, built by a wealthy industrialist for his fiance, and it fell into disrepair by the 50s as a boarding house, and we took it over and turned it into a private club for magicians. So here's the cool part. It's for members only, and we get a sneak peek. It's a sneak peek. Yay! We made you our Halloween themed drink here. Oh. It's our version of a sidecar. And Thank you. It's uh, necessary to brave the Magic Castle on Halloween. We get a little enthusiastic here on Halloween. Oh, that's good. Here's the thing, Vicki. It's so interesting because there's so much to look at. Everywhere you look yes. in the Magic Castle is something that looks like it has a story. 
Our founders, uh, Bill and Mart, uh, Milt Larson, Bill was the uh, business end of it, and Milt went around town collecting uh, things from teardowns and movie sets, places full of history of Hollywood. Let's start in our dining room, what was the dining room of the mansion, and it's where we have our ghost pianist, Irma. So Irma magically appears and plays the piano every night? Yes, it's her, it's her thing, and you can speak with Irma. Irma wow. will chat with you. Irma will, if you leave Irma a tip in her birdcage, she'll play, I'm in the money. Are Irma you... sounds like a fun gal. Irma's, Irma's party girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I also hear, Vicki, the Magic Castle has several bars. Yes, magic improves with the alcohol, so oh, okay. <laughs> it's part of the process. So this is the Owl Bar, my personal favorite. And uh, there's some things to note here. These are the original backdrops from The Tonight Show when it oh, moved yeah. from New York City to Los Angeles. We also have our Owl, Archimedes. He was a real Owl and a real magic act who died in 1925. Yeah. And Archimedes will actually answer a uh, yes or no question if you want to ask him. Archimedes, do you watch California Cooking? <laughs> and Halloween's his favorite time of year, right Archimedes? This is our main dining room. This is what Hollywood looked like when the mansion was built. This picture's incredible. Right? It's, it's like farmland in Hollywood, it was. right? And any kind of crazy stories, you know, Hollywood's known for hauntings and haunted stories. There are rumors. Uh, there are people who have seen little girls skipping and some voices. Really? Yeah. Tell me about, I, I was reading all of the people throughout the years who have, Orson Welles, I was yes. reading. Johnny Carson has been here. Our board president for two years was Neil Patrick Harris. Neil Patrick Harris, who yes. loves magic. Katy Perry had her birthday party oh, here really? at one point. Johnny Depp likes to sneak in through the back door and hide in our Houdini seance room. And so people have to audition to, to perform here as yes. a magician. You have so. to audition to be a magician member. You can be an associate member just mm -hmm. by joining. But to be a, a magician member, you have to audition, to, which just allows you to do a trick within the walls of the castle. What's cool, when you come to the Magic Castle, you could sit at the bar and grab a drink, and a guy next to you could be doing a card trick. Yes. And tell me about Halloween here at the Magic Castle. Yeah, I always call it the high holy days of the magic community. <laughs> and we really deck out, and we have a lot of parties, and uh, it's, it's you quite decorate. the scene. Oh, yes. Yeah. We really do. Hi, Chef Jason. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Jason Fully Love, which we think is the best last name It's around. a good one. Yeah. This is kind of new for you, being the head yeah. chef at Magic Castle. What Absolutely. do you think? It's a lot of fun. It's a very uh, it's a very busy place. It's a unique place. Yeah. Honestly, didn't know much about it when I got called for the job, but uh -huh. uh, I came in, did some interviewing, came in for a, a night at the Magic Castle and just fell in love with the place. Right. So what did you think the first night you came to, to check it out? I thought this is different, uh -huh. but I also felt that um, there was a lot I could do with the food here. Yeah. There, there was some room for improvement. I thought that my style of cooking would work well with the place. What was your idea for a menu? I, I wanted to embrace the tradition of the Magic Castle, the traditional steakhouse qualities of the place, uh, and then also take it in more of a sustainable and seasonal direction. Okay. Freshen it up a bit. Jason, yes. there's only two of us, but we have enough food for for a party of four at least. So starting right here closest to me, we have our Or King Salmon uh, with a butternut squash puree, delicata squash, smoked trout roe, fried sage leaves, and a little bit of uh, black lentil pilaf. That is ball on a plate. The Ooh. colors, right? right. I l oh my, thank you, chef. Yeah. Okay, and then I have heard rave reviews of your lamb. Yeah, so our braised lamb shank was, uh, it's braised with the razzle hanout, which is a yeah. mix of spices, uh, a pomegranate, mm -hmm. uh, is that good? This is really good. <laughs> Pause while I tell you how good this is. Pomegranate tabbouleh on top, uh, green curried eggplant. The eggplant is actually from our garden out here at the Magic Castle. Really? This is a showstopper of a di Look at that. Off the bone. Yes. Oh my gosh. That is crazy good. good. So this is our truffle pasta mm. with a poached farm egg. Uh, some black truffle caviar and some white truffle caviar finished with uh, some shaved Parmesan cheese, a little olive oil, and some sherbet. Oh my gosh, fancy. So you should bust the egg bust and kind of mix it there? up. Yeah. Okay. Get Oh yeah, get the yolk. Then you get, it kind of creates a sauce, right? Oh. <laughs> All right, I won't be shy. Mm, that is so good. And then our, our bouillon base here with the swordfish, the Calabrian chili sauce, the clams, the uh, octopus, and the prawns. 
I need to taste that sauce with the Calabrian chili. Mmm. Chef, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thanks for uh, coming by and checking us out. After a meal like this, you're ready for a little magic, right? Absolutely. Yes. This is what's so cool about the Magic Castle. There's these cute little rooms that have so much history where you can come and see magic. This is Nicola. She's the only female professional female magician in all of Ireland. I am indeed, oh yes, gosh. I know. Jessica? Yeah. I know I don't come across this way, but I am sometimes very nervous when I perform. Okay. So I actually bring along a couple of friends yeah. to help me. They are the Jokers. Mm. So for now, I want you to take a card. Just pick one out and show it to the camera. Now, Jessica, mm -hmm. I am going to riffle through the cards. As I riffle, you call it stop. Wherever you stop, we'll put your card. Sorry for talking fast, I'm Irish. I'm following. Okay, so uh, just call it stop. Stop. There, perfect, okay. I'll have the card, I don't wanna look. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it uh, just about halfway. Okay. That is your card, I haven't yeah. done anything funny with it. Jessica, do you want me to find your card the easy way or the hard way? The hard way. Did she say hard way? <laughs> okay, you see, this is why I brought my back up. Okay. These jokers help me when things get a little bit difficult. Mm. Come on, jokers, find Jessica's card. They've done it. They have. They have, but I know you don't quite believe me. So we need to see this. There they are. The jokers have caught a card. Mm. But um, I wonder, is that your card? What was the card you chose? Four of hearts. Did it look something a bit like that? It sure did. That's it. The jokers did help you out. They did indeed. They have my back. <laughs> This is so cool, Nicola. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. No problem. Great at all. meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. That was so cool. The history, the magic, and the food. Yum. Well, thank you guys so much for being with us. Happy Halloween, and we'll see you next time. I have a lovely half dollar, and I also have a euro. I'll go really quickly. I'm going to put this into my pocket, the dollar. So, what should I have in my hand? You should have the euro. Uh, sorry, that's magic. It's all gone. <laughs> <laughs> and what's so amazing is I'm right here. Yes, that's... I am looking at everything. <laughs>